Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, which has been remastered and dropped recently. And this guide will be helping you to fix all of your lags, stutter, FPS drops, and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. Do not skip any part. And with all that said, let's get started straight with the video. Firstly, we're going to be talking about the best window settings and for that press your windows key and then look up for settings. Once you're over here, head over to personalization and then colors. Right over here, you're going to have to disable transparency effects. After that, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off as well. Game bar is an overlay service and keeping it on might negatively impact your frames. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, helping you to boost your FPS drastically. After that, click on the graphic settings and then you have to enable optimizations for windowed games. And then for advanced graphic settings, you're going to have have to set your default graphics to your dedicated graphic card. After that, click on add a desktop app and then go to the download location of your games. Once you're in the download location of your game, you have to look for Oblivion Remastered. And over here, you'll have to head over to Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, Win64, and you'll find Oblivion Remastered, Win64, Shipping.exe. Press enter on your keyboard and that should be added in this list. Click on it and then for the GPU preference, select your graphic card or select high performance right over here. And then ensure that optimizations for windowed games are turned on over here as well. And once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings. And for that, open up Steam, right click on your game, click on manage and then click on browse local files. Right over here, head over to Oblivion Remastered, Binaries. Win 64 and then right click on your Oblivion Remastered, head over to properties and then click on compatibility. Check on disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high DPI settings. Select override high DPI scaling behavior, click on OK and apply it. This will help you to get rid of input latency caused by frame generation. Before moving ahead, I'd like to introduce you all to Wondershare Unique Converter, which is an amazing tool to upscale your content. You can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the software, it should look like this. And right over here, it has a very simple interface with a ton of tools integrated right within it. The application itself has many different useful tools, such as conversion between thousand plus formats. And as the name suggests, it also supports AI video enhancing and image enhancing, as well as text to speech and a lot of other useful tools as well it is very simple and easy to use for both beginners and experts and that is why it is my first choice for example i have an mkv file over here which i have recorded through my obs and i want to convert it and upscale it to an mp4 file what you have to do is simply click on the convert button and then simply drag and drop this file right over here now what you guys have to do is simply click on the video section head over to mp4 and then select 4k video right over here then click on the settings gear and then for the frame rate select 60 fps for the sample rate go with 48,000, and the bit rate should be the highest click on the save button and then close it and now you have to click on the convert button And this is how simple it is. They also have more tools in here where you guys can find video, audio and image related tools right over here and a lot of other cool stuff. I would recommend you guys to go check out Wondershare Uni Converter for yourself from the link in the description below. Now let us move ahead with the video. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply locate group policy editor. So simply search for edit group policy, click on it and over here, head over to computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, then you have to locate app privacy and over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this policy up and ensure that this policy is set to enable. After that default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on apply. This will deny all of the applications running in the background, allowing your PC to save resources. Click on OK and then close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here select your local disk C and then click on create button. Then name it ESO for Elder Scrolls Oblivion or something that you can remember it from. Then click on the create button and ensure that you do not skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal in case of any anomaly. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the ESO for remastered FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It has six very essential folders and let us start with the the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU like me, you can open this folder up and double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can do the same with the Intel 
CP priority. For that, the second folder is the ESO4 priority, which is actually your game priority. In here, I have left above normal, high priority, and normal priority. And to apply one for your PC, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third folder is RAM optimization, and this is actually helping you to correct your D word value for your RAM, improving its performance. I have left a ton of presets right over here and I have 16 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it from the presets I have given over here and just in case if that doesn't work out well or it doesn't give you expected performance you can reset it back to default right away. Fourth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan and to run it simply right click on it as administrator. This will add a new power plan onto your PC that you can access right after clicking on the power plan button and then selecting ultimate performance from this power plan list will help you to disable all kind of power saving features which will help you to improve the performance of your games. After that fifth folder is unwanted services and this is completely optional. However, it is very powerful and I would recommend you guys to run every single one of them except if you use any Bluetooth service or a printer. Apart from that, all of these registries should be double clicked and set to disable because these are the services that you are never going to use on your PC and they are still running in the background consuming your resources. Disabling them would be a very good choice to improve your FPS. Yes. Last and not the least is the useful programs in which I have left two very amazing programs. The first one is clean temporary files. You're gonna have to right click on it as administrator. This will ask you to press any key on your keyboard and delete all temporary files. And you can simply press any key and delete all of these temporary files. It is completely safe to do it. And I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on it as administrator. Once you're over here, what you guys have to do is select your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, from undefined set this thing to high and then click on apply this will ensure that your graphic card interrupt priority is set to high and it can handle more interrupts this will improve the performance of your gpu without actually overclocking it once all of that is done simply close your fps pack next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here select custom and then select save task by thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts Apart from that, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of these effects which are really consuming on your CPU and disabling them will help you to improve your FPS slightly. Next step is a disk management and for that simply search for defragment and optimize drives right over here. It will open up this optimized drives folder and what you guys are looking for is your C drive. You have to look for the media type and if that is a solid state drive, you have to click on the optimize button. It will start trimming the SSD and help you to reduce all of the unoccupied spaces between two adders. This will help you to improve the performance of your SSD and which will in turn reduce input latency and render latency in the games. You can do it for all of the drives. It is always safe to do that. In case it is a hard disk drive, what you guys have to do is click on the analyze button first and this will analyze the chunks between the headers and then you're gonna have to click on the optimize button. Also click on the change settings button over here and then click on run on a schedule and set this frequency to weekly then click on ok and then close it. Once you're with all of that, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to your settings. Once you're over here, go down to graphic settings and then for the window mode, play on full screen. The display resolution should be your native display resolution and your vsync should be turned off. You can also go with borderless because it allows you to play with a lot of other options. For frame rate limit uncapped, show FPS I have gone with on. Brightness intensity is your own preference. For FOV first and third person, go with 80. Motion blur off, screen space reflections off. Coming down to the quality standards, you guys will have the view distance which you have to set to medium, effects quality medium, foliage quality medium, shadow quality medium, global illumination quality medium, texture quality high, reflection quality low, post process quality low, hair quality low, cloth quality low, lumen hardware RT off and the lumen software RT quality low. After that head over to the advanced settings and then for the upscaling technique you guys will have three options. One of which is off which is really pure and you do not want that. Then you have FSR and ZES. If you have an Nvidia graphic card you guys will have the DLSS option available for you. DLSS 4 is super amazing so I would recommend you guys to go with DLSS 4 but if you have an AMD graphics card go with FSR and the FSR 3 mode should be set to quality. For the FSR 3 frame gen you're gonna have to turn this thing on and press F to apply the changes. 
Once done with that, you guys can now drop into the game with the highest FPS available. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and we are also very close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all that you will be supporting me to help grow the community and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Watching Bear Fox and peace out.